Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I got a lot of requests from you guys to do a full review on this because you guys know I'm a foundation junkie and I talked about it in my last haul and I did use it in my Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial which I'll link down below if you guys have not seen them yet. But I got a lot of requests to give you my full review on it and all of my thoughts on the foundation, so I'm gonna do that today. And we are having a fun day today, you guys, because today was just one of those days where I could think of nothing worse than having to do my hair. I was just like, I don't wanna do it. I do not want to do my hair, so this is what we're working with today. Give this video a thumbs up if you have fun days too, where you just don't feel like doing your hair. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, then please just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so this foundation retails for $43, and you can get it at either Sephora or off Makeup Forever's website. I believe those are the only two places that you can purchase this foundation and this foundation is specifically an HD foundation so it's formulated for TV and film and you're supposed to not even be able to detect this foundation on 4k cameras which is like the highest quality of film that is available today so it's really supposed to be undetectable it's supposed to make your actual skin look flawless rather than make it look like you have makeup on your face which I absolutely think it does do this foundation is super super flawless I think this foundation even looks better on camera and in pictures than it does in real life which a lot of times with foundations I think of it as the opposite even though this foundation looks really nice on like in real life it looks beautiful on camera flawless I've put up a bunch of pictures on my Instagram recently wearing this foundation and everybody's like oh my god what is on your skin and it's because it's this foundation it really really does do a great job of making your skin look so flawless without making you look like you have foundation or makeup all over your skin. So I do really, really love this about this foundation. Photographs beautifully, films beautifully, also looks beautiful in person. Um, so it is a really great foundation for that, especially if you know you're gonna be photographed or something, this would definitely be a foundation that I would tell you to go out and purchase. I don't really know how it does it, how it really just makes your skin look so beautiful without making it look like you have so much foundation on your face, which I find a lot of times a lot of like like fuller coverage foundations can do like yeah your skin looks flawless but it definitely looks like you have makeup all over your face where this one is definitely a lot more natural which I really really like I also think this would be a great foundation for people first starting to get into makeup even if you're a little bit younger you don't want to look like you have a ton of makeup on you want it to be natural this would certainly be great for that like middle school high school age maybe if it was like your first foundation even though it is pricey it is gonna be natural because I know that's like a big thing when you first getting into makeup you don't want to look like you have slathered makeup all over your face. So overall, I do really like this foundation because of those reasons, although there are some things about this foundation that bother me. One is that I find you have to work very, very quickly with this foundation because it kind of dries quickly on the face. Like, I this is not the foundation that you can just put all over your face and then like check Instagram for five minutes and then go in and blend it out. Like, no, no, no. You need to put this stuff on your face and then blend it out like pretty quickly because it does set rather fast. What I found works best is I'll use one pump, apply it all over my face, and then if I want to build more coverage, I'll go back in with another pump rather than just right off the bat putting two pumps all over my face and then trying to quickly blend that out. It works better for me to just do one pump and then go in with another pump if I find that I need a little bit more coverage. Um, so that's one thing that I don't really like about it is that it does kind of set very quickly. That can be a good thing, like if you're in a rush and you really have to do your makeup fast, it's good because it does set because I also don't like when foundations take forever to set and I feel like I have to wait for them to set on my face. But this one does set quickly, so just keep that in mind um, when working with it. You're gonna have to blend it out pretty quickly. Another tip when using this foundation is it's meant to be pounced on the skin, not buffed into the skin. So using this with like a sponge, like a beauty blender would be ideal um, because when buffed into the skin, I didn't find that it really worked that well. It kind of like started to flake off like I just didn't like the way that it applied like that but I love the way it applies with the beauty blender it applies really really nicely also if you just use a flat top kabuki and just tap it into the skin rather than try and buff it in that'll probably work as well but the buffing did not work at all so don't try and buff it into your skin if you do try out this foundation another thing I do really love about this foundation is the shade range is huge there are 40 shades that they have in this foundation so there should really be a shade for everybody for every different type of skin tone they have super light shades all the way up to super dark shades so you should be able to find a shade that does match you I actually have three different shades over here that I have in it just because when I self tan my skin can go from like super pale to super dark so I am in between 
these shades. The darkest shade I have is 375 for when I'm like really pale. Then I have 345 for kind of an in-between and then 335 for when I'm kind of light and I haven't really self tanned. So like just for me, I have three different shades. So there should be a shade for everybody and something that can really match you nicely. I think that kind of goes with the undetectability of the foundation. They want you to be able to find a shade that does perfectly match you. So I always love foundations that have big color ranges so I can find that perfect shade that I can always go to that's gonna match my skin. One thing that I would keep in mind before getting this foundation, like I said before, it's a very natural foundation. It does cover up, like I have a lot of rosacea and redness to my skin and it does completely cover that up totally fine. But it's nowhere near a super full coverage foundation. Like if you like the Kat Von D Lock It foundation and like super, super full coverage foundations like that, this is probably not gonna work for you because it's not a foundation like that. It is going to cover up up minor things but if you have like serious scarring or um, like something really serious that you want to cover up that you want to be super full coverage this is not going to be the foundation for you because it's not that full coverage you can build it up you can keep putting on layers and it probably could be super full coverage if you put like four or so pumps on your face but I just at that point don't really think it's worth it I used to be somebody who liked to slather on foundation all over my face like super full coverage I used to use the Kat Von D lock it I still use it from time to time if I'm having breakouts or whatever because it does a flawless job of really covering everything up but like with that foundation you know you can definitely tell you have foundation on your face where from a day-to-day -day basis I don't really like that so this is certainly a great foundation for an everyday foundation because it really is just gonna make you look naturally flawless you're not gonna look like you have makeup all over your face but if you're the type of person that likes a super super full coverage finish you know especially a matte full coverage finish on a daily basis, this would probably not be the foundation for you. But if you're looking for something that's natural, something that's really gonna make your skin look flawless from within, then this would definitely be a great option for you to try out. So overall, I do definitely think the foundation is worth the $43. I know it is a little bit pricier. I tend to try and get high-end foundations that are less than that, because 43 to me is a lot. Like I would never go and spend like $70 on a foundation like some people do, I just wouldn't. Um, but this one I really do think is worth the 43 because it really is beautiful and most especially like I said if you're going to be photographed or you're going to be on camera like this it's definitely something that you should try out because it really does look beautiful better than any other foundation that I've tried on camera like it really just looks flawless and beautiful so like I said I'll link my Instagram down below you can look at some of the pictures of me on my Instagram wearing it and see how it like does look even on DSLR like high-end cameras so yeah, overall I do really like the foundation and I do think that it is a good one so I will definitely be using it in more tutorials and stuff so you guys will get to see it and I'll put, you guys already saw me applying it on my face over here, but yeah. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!